come to this website mockapi.io create your account on this website now click on plus button and name your project here you can define your api prefix here you can leave this as well now select your blog here we have our api endpoint if i click on this it is not opening because we haven't generated any data yet click on new resource to generate the data you can define your api endpoint here we have api schema here you can add more field here like i'm adding title here i hope you already know about lorem it is a dummy text which doesn't mean anything click on create and select the number of posts you want to generate and click on generate all okay now the data has been generated if i click on this you can see here it is opening and we have some formatted data here because i have installed the json formatted extension so it is showing me the formatted json data now copy this api endpoint and come to our code here in the root i will create one folder if you are using a router and the next js 14 i will create one file here this file will return the data which we will fetch from our api so here define one function which will fetch data from our api this function will be async fetch don't forget to write a wait before fetch paste your api endpoint here now let me convert this data return this data add brackets here now i'm using typescript so i have to define types for this if you are using javascript you don't need to write this now let me display this data here come to our main file let me name it home remove this code i have to import the data here the function we just wrote okay now here we have to make this function async here we have to define it in one variable await fetch data now here i can directly map over it and display the data inside it don't forget to add key here because it is required now here we will get one error for the security purposes nextjs is not allowing us to get data from external sites especially images so here we have to copy this host name and add this host name to our next.config.js under this define images and this is an object inside this i have to define domains and this is an array which will contain the host names okay now nextjs will allow us to fetch data and images from external sites here you can see we have the data now let me show you one other thing if i come to network and refresh my page here you can see the load time it is 2.71 second it is because nextjs is caching our data now here i can forbid the nextjs not to cache the data it means it will call the api again and again and let me refresh it no notice the time here here you can see it is taking much more time because now we are calling the api from the server not from our local cache so that's it i hope you like this video